Hi, welcome to Range and Country. I'm Peter and I'm on my own today and I'm here to bring you honest reviews of air guns and shooting equipment. In this exciting episode, I'm going to introduce you to a couple of gun supports for bench rest shooting. Now, very simple, doesn't get much more simple than this. And we have here, the first off is the Vanguard tripod. Now, these are very popular, very effective, basically three legs splayed out on the bench and an adjustable height gun holder basically, gun rest. So one thing that you like about this, I like it, I'm easy to please. So you're shooting away, that's too low, a bit too low, a bit too low. Perfect. So what that does, that has got like equivalent of a non-return valve on it. So it's just got a little friction device on there. So that as you lift it, it can't drop down again until you lift that collar. Pretty clever, but it stops you having to use two hands to adjust the height upwards. You have to use two hands to adjust the height downwards. but you don't when you're going up and then you can lock it. So if you've found your perfect height, you can lock that and that won't go down. So you can pack it away. There we go, into the shooting bag. Next time you get it out, oh, it's perfect height already, really nice. Well made, well engineered, very well built. A little bit fiddly to start with, and it will confuse you, but all you have to remember is, to move it down, you have to lift that collar. Very simple, very effective. Then we go to the traditional shooting bag. Now, you can fill these with any material you desire. You could use rice, um, sand. We choose plastic injection molding pellets. They're not the cheapest. They're probably the most expensive, but they're completely inert. They're not going to start sprouting as if you'd use rice or seeds or um, dried peas. If you get your bag wet, they're not gonna start sprouting, going moldy, being horrible. Sand is going to pick up moisture. It's going to get heavier. It could start rotting your, your bag. You know, if, if you've got it damp, the sand's going to retain a bit of moisture. It's going to stay in there, not going to dry out. Um, and it just start rotting the bottom out without you noticing. The plastic chips, completely inert. They don't hold moisture. They're not going to start sprouting which is a bit of a shame thinking of the cost of them. It might be a good idea if we could actually grow them, but we can't. So that's that. Can use cat litter. That makes it really heavy. We've tried that. Dusty as well. And with the, uh, with the BSA bag, you also get this little buddy with it. And that'll clip on the back there for transportation so you can carry it. And that's a rest for the butt. So you'd have your rest bag up there and your back rest bag there and you'd shoot that way. I don't like that. I prefer, out, out of them all, I prefer just one rest bag. And you can, you can bulk it up a little bit if you want to. If that's the right height, that's great. If it's not, you can shoot off that bit. You can turn it on its side Tall, some tall people do at the range, and you can rest off there. What I like about them is it's a, it's a dead weight bag. So there's no giving it, once you're rested on it, it's not moving. There's no, no way that it can wobble, it can do anything. 
with the tripods, <clears throat> you have got a little bit of wobble. You've got a little bit of um, rotational movement quite easily. It's handy if you want to rotate, if you want to swing around on the range and pick out different spinners, ideal. Not so steady, rock solid. You can also get the, the bipod on your rifle, fix it to one of your, um, your sling studs, your, your front sling stud, or clip it on your Picatinny rail. Not a big fan, doesn't work for me. A lot of people they do, um, and they, they, they love them. I just, I just can't seem to get the height right. That's the choice for me. But everybody's different, good job, because it'd be a boring world if everybody was the same, wouldn't it? So, just show off the BSA label on there. These are extremely well made, uh, very cost effective. Um, possibly the largest cost is what you're going to fill it with, certainly if you're going to use plastic injection pallets. Um, I know when we filled ours three, <clears throat> three or four years ago, it probably cost us 15 quid to fill the bag, the single bag with injection pellets, and we were buying in sacks of probably 30 kilo, so it's, it's, it wasn't cheap. But they're still, four years on, they're as good as they are, you know, when we filled them. So, there we go. Short and sweet, three ways along with your bipod on your rifle, give them a go. I'm sure somebody at your range will have one of one of either, and I'm sure they, they wouldn't mind a bit of bit, bit of a chat about them, see how they get on with them, and uh, as if they're, your range is anything like our range, they'll say, come and have a go. Ideal. Thank you very much for watching.